Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading. I've not done one of these in a while, thought I would do one today. It can resonate for a few days longer than when it releases and it won't be for everyone, so take what resonates for you. So without further ado, I wish you a lovely day and let's get straight into the reading. Hello Gemini, let's see what we have for you message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the day. Message for Gemini. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Two cards. We have friendship. And we have peace. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you for the day. What do we have for the day for Gemini? Thank you. We have the Ace of Cups, the Cup of Joy, as I always call it. Emotional renewal, new beginning. Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, So the Cup of Joy is offered to you here, Gemini. This can be peace offerings, apologies, an opportunity to start over with somebody. With friendship being in the picture, this could likely be to do with friendship. Somebody wanting to build bridges, mend fences, start over with you. Now, I, there is a new beginning available to you. And with the Eight of Wands, you know, this can actually be out of the blue. It could well also be some kind of invitation might be extended to you to go somewhere. Uh, the Eight of Wands can be to do with travel of some kind. So it could well be to attend something. There could be some kind of invitation and that's all about some kind of peace offering. Um, so again, the, however this manifests for you, it feels out of the blue there's going to be some kind of communication. Either involves travel for others of you, it just feels like to, to make peace. With this, Gemini, the Seven of Pentacles, it's when we just take stock and evaluate what brings us stability in our life, what doesn't bring us stability, who we want in our life long term, what we don't want in our life long term. It feels like there is some kind of uh, evaluation or taking stock. Sometimes this can be here where somebody is reaching out and telling you or saying to you, listen, I want to make peace because we've got history together. You know, our, whatever happened between us, just can you please just consider the history that we have versus what went on, why we fell out. And hopefully the history of what we have, you know, because there's a significant history here, will outweigh the fallout and we can make peace. So this is the energy here. That's what I'm getting here, Gemini. And that's what would be the advice to you. Sometimes we can kind of, you know, sometimes shoot from the hip or just respond in a spontaneous manner. And this is about giving things due consideration in, in your response on weighing up whatever the fallout was versus the history and the effort and the, what you've built up together versus what happened. And there's a definite energy as a result of this. Emotional renewal, rebirth, a peace offering is offered to you as a result of that. It could also be linked with some kind of invitation to go somewhere or attend something. Uh, but either way here, Gemini, it feels like somebody is generally offering a peace offering here. Again, free will, you just need to evaluate whether and take time to evaluate whether that's something that you're you're willing to do or not, depending on what happened, which will be different for each of you.
Okay. Your affirmation for the day is, every day I am stronger, braver and wiser. I live and grow in harmony with the universe. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.